This is a quick video about the King Par Charles portrait that was unveiled yesterday. I have some thoughts about it, and of course I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are because we're such fans of portrait painters or in painting in general. Let's get started. And if you don't find me too controversial, please send me, give me a thumbs up and join my YouTube channel. And now let's look at the painting. Jonathan Yeo is the painter, and we'll look at some examples of his work. Here is King Charles about to unveil the portrait. Of course, I suspect he's seen it before, but I don't know the protocol of these things. As he pulls the drape down, it almost looks like he's running away for a second. I think it kind of surprised him. <laughs> so that's just a moment that I like. And look for, at the far left. I think we see someone that we know from our Portrait of the Year program. So here's the portrait. We've seen the scale of it. It's enormous. And I have some really strong thoughts about it. It'll probably be controversial, but, you know, that's what I do here on this channel. Of course it's great. I mean, of, of course it's great. But I think it has a lot of subtext in it, and I think it's kind of subversive. But let's look at some of the other work that he's done before we talk too much about that. Here's a close-up. So the portrait itself has is very detailed in terms of the face and the hands, and the rest is pretty obscured in this sort of, um, I guess you would call it like storm of red. And there is the one butterfly, which we know has implications for the monarchy. So that's interesting, and obviously there for a reason, and people can interpret those different reasons. I have some strong feelings about why it's there, and again, I do not think it is positive toward the monarchy. There's the artist with King Charles making, you know, of course, polite remarks. Now, remember, this painting is in an enormous room. The actual painting is 7.5 feet by 5.5 feet. So this is, this thing is huge. <laughs> uh, but when you put something in an enormous room, whatever it is, is going to look a little bit dwarfed in comparison. But when we, when we talk about a gallery setting, when it comes to portrait art of this year, that's kind of what we're talking about. These things are going to go on really, really big walls. How you produce a piece of work like that is something that's beyond me. I have no idea. Now let's look at another piece of work that he did, and this is Camilla. So this is very familiar, much more subdued colors, and not as detailed in the face and the hands. Sort of attention paid all around on this one. I wonder, oh, I should also say the commission was not... Um, paid for by Charles. Let me talk about the people who um, created the commission first. Because remember, when you have a commission, you have bosses. I don't know how much input they have in, into it, but they certainly are going to have some requirements. And also, while I'm talking about the commission, let's take a look. We'll take some looks at uh, Jonathan Yeo in his studio. Um, let's see. It was commissioned by the Worshipful Company, who are drapers of a medieval guild of wool and cloth merchants who are now philanthropists. Ugh, wow, that's a mouthful. And also, Yo did not know anything, or Charles didn't know anything either, about this painting when, when he finished it. It was started in uh, June of 2021. So if you have an opinion that it shows Charles coming through his cancer diagnosis and treatment, that is not the case. Now let's take a look at, oh, we just saw a very messy painting table. Wow, that was, that was, uh, that got me in my OCDs. Here are some of his portraits. Now he also can do this much more fractured work. And if you watch my channel, you know I love this kind of work because I like it when your brain can put the images together as opposed to an artist delivering absolutely everything to you on a plate. I like the deconstruction of this. Obviously, he paints extremely famous people, and good for him. I mean, that's that's sort of what, you know, we know that John Singer Sargent did that in his, his time as well. You know, you become the go-to person for famous, sit, famous, uh, famous people who want, uh, who want to sit for you. Now, let's take a look at... So this is... Malala Yosef, Yosefa, yeah, you know, very famous, began as a child activist in Afghanistan or Pakistan. Oh boy, please don't 
don't fact check me on this stuff. I'm here for the art. You can go and look for the history. That's just not my, not my thing. That is more in the traditional sort of sense that I would have expected Charles, King Charles's portrait to be in. Here's a painting which looks much similar to kind of what he was doing with Prince Charles. Also shows a sense of humor for sure. So I appreciate that. You know, he's in the business of very serious art. And so you like to see someone who, who can kind of have some fun as well. So here are some other very famous faces coming up. So he clearly has, you know, it's beyond the ability of, of being able to paint. You know, we're far beyond that when it comes to this kind of level of portraiture. So then it becomes, well, why do you make the decisions that you make in order to represent your client? And that is what is a little bit puzzling to me when it comes to this commission. I have, like I said, very strong feelings about this painting, and I'm going to state them now, and you can uh, please let me know what you think below. Uh, you know, of course, I think it's a fine portrait, but, you know, that choice of red is, is, is such a conscious choice. There's something, for me, very bloody and brutal about it, too. And there's also a subtext, and I don't think it's positive toward the institution uh, that King Charles represents. Um, yes, he's clearly shown, so the portrait is, you know, check that, portrait done. But he's also obscured. And with the color red, it makes me think, is it blood? Is it fire? Is it power? I don't know. Also, the butterfly. Does it symbolize this monarchy? Is the thing is changing? Or it's fugitive? It, it just is kind of provocative in that way. I know I take art pretty seriously, but I think you do too. And I'd like to hear some of your thoughts about this most current unveiling of the first commission portrait that's been done of King Charles since his coronation. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color. Uh, please join my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.